Hi everyone. Today we'll be talking about the null heuristic. And a prerequisite for this uh, video is that you need to know about alpha beta pruning. Right, because this is actually an enhancement to alpha beta pruning. Um, alpha beta is again based on the min max tree, so I can just draw it here. And simply put, what happens is uh, in a game, you you see what kind of moves you can play from the starting position this is your start and after move uh, move one it's your opponent's turn so these are the possibilities that he uh, he can have he or she can have and after move two these are the possibilities that you could end up with so these are your moves and these are your opponent's responses and so on and so forth you know it keeps going down uh, till you actually come to a terminal node now alpha beta is a is a algorithm to parse this tree to to go through this tree and find out the best path to evaluate uh, essentially the the score of this starting position we are not going to discuss that i can i can provide some links in the description below but uh, once you are done with that the simplest enhancement that you have is the null heuristic the reason why it's called a null heuristic is because it allows you to make a null move So imagine that you are playing tennis and you allow your opponent a free hit. So instead of playing your turn, you let your opponent you know, uh, take it free. After this free hit, if you are still winning, it probably means that you are far, ahead, far more ahead than your opponent and you don't really need to evaluate this position very deeply because you are much better off. Uh, similarly vice versa, if your opponent gives you a free hit and you still don't you know, uh, equalize or go ahead of him, that that probably means that you're far behind your opponent and there's no point evaluating this position too much it's it's losing so that's the general gist of why we do uh, null heuristics we make a null move we, we just skip our move give it to our opponent and check if our opponent can improve on their position if they can't that probably means that you know they're not then they're not uh, there's no chance that uh, evaluating this move is going to give us anything better. Null heuristics are not always good. For games like chess, where you know two consecutive moves is extremely strong, maybe your rook can move from your rook could move forward and then to the right and take up a queen. So that would be great. Uh, and uh, in in games like X and O, uh, where you get to make two consecutive moves, that's almost priceless. So. Uh, maybe these two other moves that you just made consecutively so in these games a null heuristic is very useful but in certain games where there's a lot of something called zug zwang this is a german word it means that no, none of the players want to make a move if you imagine two people standing on a hill you know and they are they are assigned a task to punch each other none of them really wants to move from their hilltop because their situation is so precarious anyone who moves to punch is probably going to fall off so this you can imagine is zug zwang if it is your turn then you're losing the null heuristic on the other hand is going to pass your turn so after passing the turn you will see that you're winning clearly and you'll be like okay 